Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the opening day for Flower and Garden Festival 2021. I'm excited to try all the unique drinks and eat some amazing food, look at some pretty flowers and possibly play with butterflies. So, let's go do this. I've got my trusty Flower and Garden 2021 passport to lead the way and I think we're gonna head right on over to the butterfly exhibit. It's one of my favorite things at the Flower and Garden and I don't know how they're doing it this year but we're gonna find out. Every year I try to make it a tradition to either have a butterfly land on me because I hear it's good luck or actually have a butterfly like touch the camera. So that's where we're gonna go into the uh, butterfly garden and see if we can get some luck. The goodness garden butterfly house. I love walking through here too. You gotta zoop. And let's see if we can get a little butterfly. Oh, look at that. As soon as I walked in, one flew up to me. It didn't take long at all. I got a butterfly under my nose. <laughs> oh, it's gone. It is so pretty in here. It's just one of those things you have to stop at when you're at the Flower and Garden Festival. Look at all the butterflies that will be hatching soon. I just love being in here. The best way to get a butterfly to land on you is just stand very still because usually if they bump into something, they tend to just stick and stand. So if your hand is out and you just hold it still and the butterfly just bumps into it, they'll actually land on it. So it's a little tip. It might take a little while, but if you're dedicated, you might get a little luck. I think we're going to proceed right into Epcot's World Showcase and get to some of the festival kiosks. I definitely need a drink and something to eat and they've got tons of it in there. Luckily I'm joined with a friend today on this adventure, hey, Jackie, honey. super <laughs> enthused. Honey, oh you're good you, oh I'm you good are girl. good. <laughs> so we're going to get something to eat at the Honey Bistro. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. <laughs> I think my first stop is going to be at the Honey Bistro and we're going to try the Honey Peach Freeze served with blueberry vodka. That sounds amazing. Peach uh, and honey and blueberry. And then we're also going to get the sweet corn spoon bread with jalapenos, bacon and house made whipped honey butter. These are some good combinations. So here it is, the honey peach freeze with blueberry vodka, and then the honey bread. This looks good because it's got jalapenos, bacon. I just can't wait to dive in. I don't know how the combination of mixing both of these together. It's an it, interesting combo. Nate. It's an interesting combo, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting this to actually be like this color because you think honey peach and blueberry, but I mean, here we go. Oh, that's good. Oh wow, that is really good. That is much too good, much too good for children. I love this. Oh, this is the first drink of the night or the day. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut into the cake. I'm gonna make sure to get a little bit of everything. Need a little bacon, need a little jalapeno, definitely the honey, this is good. Now that the drink is good, we're gonna try the cake. Oh, it's really funny because this actually is kind of a milky beverage mm -hmm. and this is like such a honey taste so it is it's like a, a breakfast food it's a uh -huh. it's like a honeycombs breakfast cereal <laughs> in combination so you get this and this it's like you're eating a bowl of honeycombs uh -huh. so i guess that was a good way to start the day off with a little uh, breakfast honeycomb and blueberry vodka very good now we're going to keep moving along and we're going to stop at Northern Bloom. This one I've had a lot of people actually say that I should try the maple syrup beer. Well they have the apricot maple syrup. I think I've had it in the past before but also they have an amazing beef tenderloin tips with mushroom bolognese sauce and whipped potatoes. So we might be getting something mapley and something bolognese. <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> it is opening day for this festival, so I've seen an increase in long lines and wait times just because an opening day attraction usually brings in much more crowds, but overall it hasn't been really horrible. I mean, it's not like you can just walk up to a kiosk and be like, I'll take this. You have to at least wait five, ten minutes. Beer flight. Uh, there you are, sir. Thank you. I thought I was just going for the apricot maple stout, but 
when they have a beer flight, you go all in. You get all of them. So that way you can try them and figure out which one you like. So that's what I did. I got the beer flight, so now we have tons of beers to try. And they all look like they're pretty, pretty fancy. Here are the different beers that we got. We've got the 81 Bay Brewing Apricot with Maple Syrup, and then the Collective Arts Blackberry Fruit Beer, and then the Goose Island Hazy IPA with Mango and Cinnamon. I'm guessing that the Maple Syrup actually starts on this side, and then it makes its way uh, left to right, I believe they said. So we're just gonna try them all. And also, we got the beef tips. Since we both got the Maple Syrup Beer, might as well just, just take it as it is, yeah? A little sip. Gosh, that's really good. You drank oh, the yeah. whole thing. I liked it. it I liked good. it too. I liked it a lot. Wow. So the syrup isn't heavy. I'm going to dive into these tips though. So I want to grab a little carrot, a little carrot, little potato, a little bit of the steak. I feel like these are going to be my favorite thing. Only because I am a big meat and potato kind of guy. But who knows? There might be some other amazing like different snacks on the way. So we're going to try this first. That is very good. Good, right? Yeah, the tips are like a perfect kind of like uh, temperature. I mean, they're cooked pretty much medium. Yeah, they're pretty much But they're tender. Yeah. The mashed potatoes are great, Ooh. but the bolognese is my favorite. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Now I'm going to try the blackberry fruit beer. I feel like it's going to be like more of a cider. It already looks like it. Even though it does say beer, though, it's a fruit beer. <laughs> it is a little cold. Not too bad, not too bad. I mean, it's definitely more cider than it is beer, but yeah, it's, it's kind of refreshing. I like it. Now I gotta try the IPA. It's kind of crazy how you're gonna jump from fruit to IPA. This one is uh, mango and cinnamon. Oh boy, that's a tough. I think uh, the maple syrup one is my favorite. This is second, the fruit beer is third. I'm loving the atmosphere today. I know it's a little bit busy, like I said, but the weather is perfect. The flowers just make everything better. Oh, when you see bright, beautiful flowers and happy people, the music over here in Canada, your mango cinnamon IPA, just kind of makes everything perfect and makes you think, wow, life is great. <laughs> now I think we're gonna move along and go in and get some AC. I know the World Show place is open and it's one of my favorite spots to just kind of cool down, especially during any festival. They have three different festival kiosk or stands in here. We've got the Farmer's Feast, the Cider House, and then the Festival Favorites. And I'm super excited for the Festival Favorites because they have the beef brisket burnt ends and smoked pork belly slider, but also the Three Daughters Brewing Maple Bacon Stout. This is the Maple Bacon Stout that I thought I was getting in Canada. I like that one, but I heard this one is phenomenal. Oh boy, there it is. And here is the maple stout. I don't know how I'm gonna carry this. I got one for Jackie. Oh, I do have a way. I think I'm gonna go like this. Oh wait, I need another hand. Nothing like eating a brisket slider while listening to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's it folks, right there. Favorite thing in the festival. Wow, that is so good. The sausage, the brisket. This is just the perfect combination right here. No, from Van Morrison. Now, Van Morrison. Oh, Moon Dance. Oh, Moon Dance. Moon River. Ooh. Carol pulling out all the stops. We go from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star to Van Morrison. Ooh, and now we have the maple stout, and this is the one I thought we were getting at Canada, so I think this is gonna be really good. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a stout. Okay, the stout is pretty good, but I had to go back up and get the key lime tart because I remember liking the pistachio dessert here, so I do like key lime pie, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this. And uh, I couldn't resist. Even though it looks like there's a stick of gum on the it top of it. <laughs> Doesn't that look like you just like yes. a stick of gum? 
I thought about just forking it, but then I picked it up and I'm just gonna take a bite. Hmm. That is really, really good. I really like it. And I think as it comes to desserts, this was better than the uh, bread or the cornbread. I haven't had any other desserts to compare it to, but this is actually up there for me. I like it. Well, I can tell you that the duck confit's really good. Oh, you had the duck confit? Yeah. Oh, fancy. It's really good. And I hear there's beets inside there. Yeah, there's a bunch of beets at that booth. A bunch of beets. It's a beet booth. Bears, beets, beets Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica. Galactica. Birthdays. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Luckily, this festival is going on until July 5th. So we're going to be able to come back and try all the things we haven't tried yet. You know what I mean? Because there is a lot to take in. Inside the show place itself, they have probably another six or seven different types of drinks. So I'm happy with just getting my beautiful slider that I loved. And now the key lime tart and the maple stout. And just bouncing from here and moving on to the next kiosk or the next pavilion and seeing what they got. It's so hard to come back out into the sun after hanging out in the show place for so long. It was so nice in there, but there's so much more to explore. Many more boots and tons of food. That's another thing. You don't want to get full in there because then you're not going to want to eat anything else or drink. I believe our next kiosk is actually going to be in France. And I'm excited because somebody showed me that they actually had like a beignet that kind of was made like a creme brulee. And I think it's going to be amazing. So I'm definitely going for that. Alice is watering the flowers. It's proper fitting for flower and garden. So I know it's ridiculous and flowers can't talk, but they can sing. <laughs> you can learn a lot, especially on a golden afternoon like today. You did it. I oh. did it. I've been waiting to say that to you all day, Alice. <laughs> all day. Oh, yeah. Why don't we Aww. have a perfectly wonderful day. Thank you. you too. So good to see you. <laughs> You've been waiting all day to say that, haven't you? I wore this shirt just to see Alice. Oh. <laughs> I've always had an issue with the France Pavilion because it always seems like a super long line. So right now we're going to see what it's like, but if it is a long line, we'll skip it and come back. Even though I really want to try the beignet. It's actually not looking bad at all. So we're going to have to hop to this. Hop to the line, hop to the line. I don't know which way to enter the line. Maybe here? I think this is it, this is it. Here is a look at the menu. You can see they have the beignet. That's the one I was excited for and it comes with uh, cream vanilla. And then down here, you have to get the rose frozen slushy. I mean, the frozen slushies are always popular in the France area. So this year's flower one, we have to get it. Seems like it's getting hard to find tables as it gets later in the afternoon. We couldn't find any tables or even garbage cans that were open. So we uh, pop in a squat in Indian style underneath the gazebo in France. I like that. We got a little spot right over here. Isn't it very nice? A little floor spot. In, in the France. gazebo. Okay, we've got shade. Yeah, Belle actually meet, meet and greets here. Also Aurora. Aurora sometimes yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, and we got the beignets. Look at these. These are like creme brulee almost because they blowtorch the top of the beignet. And then we've got the rose slushies, which melt They're very melting. quickly. So you have to drink that post haste. Post haste. I should have grabbed a straw, but I'm going to just sip on it. You done messed up, kid. Well, that's refreshing. It's so good, right? Oh, yeah. Very refreshing. I like this a lot. I'm gonna try to eat this like a donut, I guess. I mean, it's kind of like a donut form anyway. Yeah, that's, it's very fancy. Rose slushies with caramelized beignets underneath the gazebo with princess music in the background. Cheers. <laughs> the beignet is basically a donut. I mean, it's very delicious, but wow. The, the number one thing here, I think, is the rose slushie. Like it is every year. This is like, a, an iconic thing for flower and garden. You gotta get the rose slushy, and I'm so happy we did. Now that we've cooled off and drank our slushy and ate our uh, beignet, I think we're gonna move along. This is such a nice area to come hang out by the fountain. Not only does it have Beauty and the Beast topiaries, but it also has the Remy topiary. So also it's a good place to come get all your flower and garden fixings. 
now we're gonna actually head to another kiosk that I was actually eyeing up from the get-go and we passed it on the way in but they had some amazing beverage offerings and one of them even had like an Italian sausage poutine and I thought that was pretty fancy so we're gonna backtrack a little bit and head back out to the front of World Showcase and explore all the different kiosks there one of the things I was super excited about is right here at the refreshment port. A lot of people pass by these not thinking they actually have anything to do with the festival, but they have some of the best items at like the refreshment port and then the African outpost. So we're going to see what they have here and uh, I think you're going to like it. Oh boy, and here they are. Oh my gosh. Look, look at them. They're so cute. They're these so are the popsicles. Cute. I think they might melt quickly, so we might as well find somewhere and just sit down and enjoy them. These actually look very exciting and colorful, and I didn't know what the flavors were. I just seen the picture of them, and I was like, I gotta get those. But they actually, uh, they're honeydew, raspberry mint, and coconut lime. The picture looks a little bit better than what they are, but they're still beautiful. You can see right here, this is the honeydew. That must be the uh, raspberry mint and then the coconut lime. And we're just gonna dive in because they are melting. Yeah. Jackie's. Yeah, I'm struggling. You're not you're struggling, you're not even waiting. They're oh, gone. Well, I was trying to wait, but they're, they're so good the though. The was the best one. Oh. They were so creamy and good. I'm trying the raspberry now, but look, it's completely melted. Uh oh. You don't eat this quick. How is mine still intact? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going honeydew first. Mm. Honeydew or honey don't? That's a honeydew. <laughs> that is a honeydew. That's now I'm gonna grab the. This is the pineapple or uh, coconut like mint. Oh, coconut lime. Coconut was just okay. I like the coconut one. That's good. Now this is the raspberry, the raspberry mint. Raspberry real good. I'm eating it all. <laughs> raspberry mint for the win. Yeah. For me. The honeydew in there. I feel like this is like a pistachio mm -hmm. and a rum kind of. Uh, mixture i don't know but you got to make sure you get a lot on there so i'm gonna go with this one the popsicles were good but i think we're gonna hop in line at the pineapple promenade i'm happy they don't sell the popsicles here because then it would be the popsicle pineapple promenade and that could be a tongue twister yeah but i'm not they actually have a flight here and it's a pineapple beer flight. They have tons of different drinks here. They have a violent lemonade ale, they have a hefe weed ale, they have a mango pineapple guava ale. So I think we're gonna get the pineapple beer flight and then I think the hefe weed ale on top of that because it probably doesn't come with it. Not only do they have amazing beers here and spicy hot dogs, but they got Dole Whips too, and they got Dole Whips with rum in them. So you can come here and get your Dole Whip, get your pineapple fix, and a I spicy hot whip. dog fix. You got the Dole Whip? I knew it. You knew I would. Yep. I was wrong actually. The pineapple flight does come with the Hefe Weed Ale. The only thing the pineapple flight does not come with is the Violent Lemonade Ale. So I got the flight and the violent lemonade ale i had to because i had to try it so now we got four little sample beers to try and uh, a nice little cozy spot to relax and enjoy them here is the flight and we are once again just sitting indian style right chilling on just the floor, chilling you know jackie got the uh dole whip with rum yeah. see it's sewing in the back and she also got a pineapple flight yeah. i got the uh flight too but i also got the violent lemonade and I'm excited because, like I said, we're just gonna sit here and enjoy them. And I think I'm gonna try the Violent Lemonade first because this is one I've been excited about. Once again, I thought this was a cider, but it's not. This is a beer. But it's not. But it's not. My favorite thing about you trying the Violet Lemonade is the fact that you keep calling it the Violet. So I've been saying Violent the whole entire time. <laughs> Jackie just said, my favorite thing about you trying the Violet Lemonade is because you're saying Violent. And it's Violet, Violet. <laughs> violet lemonade, but this is the violet lemonade ale. Oh, that's strange. It is like a <laughs> beer, strange. though. Yeah, because like all these like drinks and like these fruity yeah. beers, they they like they cider. look like cider, but yeah. then when you taste them, they're not like ciderish. Like there's no sourness, so it's very it's very refreshing. It's very good. No bitterness, just kind of like uh, you can definitely taste the uh, violet. <laughs> 
now I'm gonna dive right into the flight. I've already had the Heffa Wheat Ale. I had a little bit of it and I like it a lot. I'm gonna try the rest of them real quick. But the Violet Lemonade is violent. <laughs> is probably gonna be my favorite. Who knows though, because there is a Mango Pineapple IPA in here that I'm probably gonna like. So this is the Mango Pineapple Guava Wheat Ale. Oh, let's do it together. Ooh, we're gonna do All it right. together? We're both doing the mi Mango Pineapple. I can like, smell it, can you smell it? Yeah, I can. All right, you ready? Oh my gosh, yeah, it smells really <laughs> strong. Let's try it. And it's so delicious. It's really good, yeah. That's my it's favorite. Very pineapple. Wow. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Hey, but while you're there. Very pineapple. While you're there, let's do this last one together. Yeah, grab grab the other one. <laughs> this is the, uh, IPA, the Aloha. Oh! Aloha. 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 Smells like an IPA. That, that one's a little bit, yeah, that one's good. It's oh. grapey. It tastes like grape, right? I think the mango. Yeah. For me, the uh, three daughters growing triple humble. The wicked weed. Is my favorite. The mango, pineapple, and guava. Mango is, uh, is my favorite. Wow, we really just housed those beers. What I did. You didn't, did you, you didn't house them. You you didn't house them. I it's housed them. I housed them. After a couple of those delicious beers, we're gonna move along. But I have to appreciate World Showcase mm. right now. The music. Look how beautiful those skies are. This is a great day. This is a great flower and garden festival. Like to kick off the flower and garden season. Like I said, this is running till July 5th. That's like four months. So we're gonna be here plenty of times and we're gonna be able to get all the things we haven't tried. And uh, yeah, be prepared. A lot more flower and garden videos to come. Other than the Winnie the Pooh topiaries, I have to say, <laughs> Three Caballeros is probably next as my favorite. Look at these. It's so nice and I love the flowers. Everything blends perfectly together. I want to keep moving to the front of the park. As you can hear, we're near a test track and something that has actually been closed for a while is being repurposed for a festival stand. And it kind of makes me happy to see this actually being used because I always admired it. Oh wow, look at that sun right now. This is beautiful. <laughs> oh yes, it's good. Oh. The donut box is now repurposed as the Sunshine Griddle Brunch Bites and Beverages. And take a look at all the amazing things they have here. Fried cinnamon roll bites, Fruit Loop Shake, and they even have a Joffrey's Cold Brew Cocktail, which I'm definitely getting. But wow, there's a lot of good things happening here. And a good flower and garden festival isn't complete without running into a bunch of friends. Look at this. We got Adam the Woo, World of Michael, Danny702, Theme Park Obsession, Best Life and Beyond, Super and Through, so many good people. So we're going to have to take a gig, a big group pick. We need a big group pick. Look at all of the things. We ran into a bunch of friends, so I think we're gonna all go do like a group ride on Test Track. This is what's fun about coming to opening day events is you get to meet so many people. And I'll put everyone's uh, YouTube channels in the description below because there are so many great content creators here just enjoying Epcot on a beautiful flower and garden day. We're all heading in. Technically, it is down at the moment, but they are test running, so we might as well just give it a wait because there is no line. It's crazy because now it's like a walk-on. We're doing a walk-on. <laughs> is that your walk-on walk? <laughs> the walk-on walk. I like it. <laughs> If you walk on a it's ride. like, I'm walking on sunshine. Hey! hey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh, there they go! Oh. Up, up, up! Thank you. We've got three car loads, so one's about to take off. This one right here, and then in here we got Micah. <laughs> and we're ready to go. Check your seatbelt, please. Woo! Woo! 
begin with the capability test to see how your vehicle designs perform under challenging weather and surface conditions. Capability test results displayed and verified. Avoidance technology disengaged. Oh, oh boy, it's raining! <laughs> oh, hold on to the mirrors! <laughs> oh, oh. My mask! <laughs> That was so much fun. Look at the group of people. These are all of our cars right here. <laughs> One, two, and three. So good, right? So good. Now we're gonna head to one of my favorite places at Epcot to kind of finish off the night. And it's a, it's a good spot to finish off the night. This is it. My favorite spot at Epcot. Isn't it so beautiful in here? And we're actually gonna go into La Cava, grab a drink, and just hang out by the fountain and just enjoy ourselves for the end of the night. Air cheers, everybody. Air cheers. Oh, yes. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Whee! <laughs> What's funny is I have <laughs> So I will eat two of these to encourage you guys to try one and one bite. So they do take these and usually you want to pair these up with a certain type of tequila and each tequila actually gets uh, paired with something different. There's five different types of tequila. Okay. So I'm just going to eat these for the fun and eat it with my blood orange margarita. It is a delicacy. Well, it's not really delicate. It's like a smokiness. Right. So. And we took a bite. Oh yeah, he's enjoying it. I would have like taken a bite. Yeah, I was like, he took a bite. Like sunflower seeds, honestly. Okay. hundred percent okay. sunflower okay. seeds. Okay. Okay. No, I'm not doing it. I'm with Jackie. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. It's really not that bad. You guys are gonna feel so silly. Cowboy, you're really good. Grasshopper. Is it a grasshopper or cricket? Come on, Katie. Cricket. Going for it. Here's a cricket. Take one for the team, Katie. Okay. She just chopped it. Are you going in for another one? It's like sunflower seeds, right? Yeah, it's like earthy. Yep. Very earthy. Very good. Yep. Just do it. It's not bad. It's like an almond. Oh, yeah. yeah. Told you. Yeah. If you're going to do it, you do it here. Oh, man, the pressure's, the pressure's, the pressure's on now. <laughs> we don't need beer pressure. Oh, Katie's going in for seconds. No. no. <laughs> yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. it tastes like a sun, it's literally sunflower seed. Sunflower seed. Jackie, you can do it too. It's not bad. It's, it really oh. tastes like a sunflower seed. It's not bad. It's happening. Nate, oh. I knew it. See? Yeah, nothing. I have to do it. Yep. It's very dry and powdery. There, there's like an earthy note. Yep. I do wish I had something to drink with it. Jackie, we did it. We did we it. Did, you yeah. did it. <laughs> do you know how many times I've been here at La Cava with everybody else eating these and me like, nah. You did, did it. it. But I did it. Congratulations, nice, Jackie. Awesome. Katie, I think you gave me confidence and we were like, I'm going for another Katie one. just busted like, and says, what are you guys eating? She's like, oh, <laughs> pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Pretty good. And with that margarita, I think I'm going to call it a night here. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the food and drinks for the Flower and Garden Festival. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We are going to end the night in a true fashion with some fireworks. So, we'll see you next time. Bye! And just like I promised, fireworks to end the night. <laughs> As we were walking out, you can see the new lighting effect around the entranceway to Epcot. This is beautiful. They added the flags and the music. This is good. This is really good. Look, it's actually going right through. You see the, the line changing? It chases it. <laughs>